you are welcome back to the channel my name has always been rose keldy and this is a rose keldy ministry platform you are watching rose on the rose platform this place is all about the knowledge of god this place is all about the revelation for us to get the right things that we need to get in order to see the manifestation of god in the kingdom of god so if you are looking for information revelation knowledge this is the place you want to be i want to welcome all my new subscribers to the family you are warmly welcome to the family this is a place that you will be enjoying yourself with a lot of information given by God and by experience through my spirituality and also for my retaining subscribers God richly bless you for coming today it's warfare my God today i am i am just you know i am just in this fire this fire is just burning in me and i want to share some scriptures with you whenever you are you want to go on your battlefield remember the battle is not ours is of the lord remember we are not battling to what to win we are battling as winners we just want to maintain our position of victory and also when god told jehoshaphat and the israelite that the battle was not theirs my god he did not tell them to go and sleep he still told them to march tomorrow to the what to the battlefield and take a position even though that the battle is not ours if the battle is of the lord we have a place to play we need to be present we need to exercise our faith the bible made us understand that what for we do not wrestle against flesh and blood but against principalities rulers of darkness powers in the heavenly realms that stands against us this is to tell us that there are spirit there are demons there are evil spirit that are making sure that that what god has said concerning your life does not come to pass there are some they just don't want you to enjoy the god's giving promise concerning your life so they will do everything in their power all satan is looking for is what dominion he wants to dominate you he wants to compress you he wants to what deny you of the blessings of god and he also want to what have a there were transgenerational you know allegiance with you so that even if you are not there you will continue with your family because he knows the word he knows the the scripture that says that we should not worship any other god except god but when we do that our fourth and third gen third four generations will pay the consequences so he knows this so he's always finding a way he's always preventing us so that somehow somewhere we can run to him for solution which he's always a deceiver he's always a thief he's always a robber so if you are here and you think the oh jesus christ has won he has finished all on the cross for me so i don't need to fight listen check your check your life just sit yourself down examine yourself and ask yourself is there no any battle in your life are people not standing against you when you do not do anything against them you are there thinking of yourself but people are planning evil against you is it not happening in your life do not have any issue one or the other to battle with this is the time that you need to go on your battlefield i always say is that when you have the word of god every solution you are looking for is in the word it's left to you with you to look for that word and apply it in your life so today i want to share with you some of the scriptures that i use whenever i find myself on the battlefield if you're interested in these scriptures please stay tuned after this short commercial break i will be right back you are welcome back to the channel so we are going straight into today's video as i promised i am giving you five scriptures that whenever you find yourself in a battlefield you want to stand you want to battle you want to speak you want to declare you want to take your stand you want to let the devil know that he is dealing with the wrong person that there is no place in your life for him so if you are interested number one thing i want to say before we get into 
the scriptures. I want you to understand that the, the, the weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal. They are mighty in true God by pulling down what strongholds. So when you are going on the battlefield, you know that you are not going the physical. It is not a physical battle. In the olden days, our, our forefathers used to do a physical battles. But after Jesus Christ has died on the cross for us, we do not do battles physically again you don't have visions about somebody plotting evil against you and then you go to the person physically to battle it it all happens on your knees it all happens when you go on your knees and when you decree and you declare that is where the battle is because why all the written course all the regulations that stood opposed that fight against us jesus christ has nailed them on the cross so you do not need to go with the scatlers to your grandfather, to your grandmother, to your auntie, somebody that is doing wickedness in your life. No, you need to go on your knees and you need to call on God and God will come true for you. Praise the Lord. If you are ready, somebody tell me. Somebody tell me you are ready because it says what in the Jeremiah 1 19, the Bible says that they will fight against you, but they will not prevail against you. They will not overcome you. This is the promise of God concerning your life. I don't want you to think that there is not going to be a battle. For the battle, it will come because God did not promise us a problem free. He did not promise us a battle free, but he promised that he will be with us in all any battle that that will come against us. That is why he said they will come, but they shall not prevail. Why? Because he has made you a fortified body, a fortified nation. You are, the walls around you are bronze. The pillars are bronze. The walls, the, 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 the things covering you, they, they are not of this world. You are being protected by what? The hand of God. So when you find yourself in this, I don't want you to be what to be afraid. He said, fear not. For I am with him. For those that will call upon the name of the Lord, they shall what? They shall overcome. So today you will overcome. Praise the Lord. You will overcome. I don't care what situation you are in, but this is what I want you to do. Whenever you want to go on the battlefield, again, do it at midnight because this is the act time of the devil this is the time they are doing all the concussion this is the time they are doing all the spelling this is the time they are sp they are spilling this is the time they are drinking those evil blood concerning your life on their those evil altars so when they wake up at midnight you are also at midnight no, then you, we will see who is who whose power is great Hallelujah. You don't have to be sleeping. The sleeping, you have slept enough. Now is the time to be awake. When you wake up at midnight, I want you to understand that you need to be pure. You need to, you need to, you know, sanctify yourself. You need to ask God to have mercy upon you. That if there is any, anything that will not give you the upper hand of the enemy, that the enemy might use to accuse you, that you ask for the mercy of God, that God will cleanse you, that God will sanctify you, that God will purify you and put your feet on a rock, on a solid rock, that when you stand and you decree, that he would, it will come to pass. I also want you to pray like the days of Jeremiah. The Bible says, and the Lord stretched upon his hands upon Jeremiah. And at that moment, he gave power to Jeremiah. He gave uh, Jeremiah authority. And Jeremiah, the things that Jeremiah could not do before, he began to do it. He began to overthrow. He began to destroy. He began to plant. He began to build. You cannot do it by yourself. You need the power of God. You need an so when you go on this battlefield, before anything, before declaring, you need the power of God. You have to what, submit yourself and ask him to anoint you, to give you authority, to give you charge over the atmosphere, over the demonic you know, you know, powers, those in the heavenly realms, those on the earth and those beneath the earth. So that when you stand, you can see victory. 
We also have to rely on the Holy Spirit because the Bible said that even at the time when we do not know how to pray, it is the Holy Spirit that intercedes for us. So when you allow the Holy Spirit to lead you, even when you have these scriptures, the Holy Spirit is going to tell you the exact way to pray these scriptures. So the first scripture I want to give you, the book of Ephesians 6, the verse from the verse 10 to the 18, this talks about putting on the full armor of God for what? For the, the evil days will come. So when you want to go on the battlefield, there is a what? An armor. There is a way that you have to what? Dress up spiritually. And when you read in the book of Ephesians from the 11, he listed up, up to the verse 18 all that you need to put on. An army does not go on the, the battlefield with a civilian cloth. He has the way that he will dress up. He has a place where he will put his gun, his bullet, his, you know, any ammunition, anything that he, he will use to protect himself and to what defend and to what or in the, to defend. He is going to use it. anything that he will use to attack. He will have to be in place. That is why Paul wrote this. He wrote this very book. The, 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 the scholar said he wrote this very book when he was in the prison. He sees how the, the Romans, how the soldiers were dressed up. When you want to win battles, you have to what? Walk in the will of God. Righteousness is just being, you know, in the will of God, walking according to the word of God, in the will of God. When you do this, you there is nothing that will come against you that will prosper against you. It talks about the, the, the breastplate, it talks about faith, it talks about the spirit, uh, spirit preaching the gospel of peace it talks about prayer and it also talks about uh, uh, the shield which was the faith right it talks about prayer all the when you read in the book of Ephesians 6 you will have these you know all these things that you need to put on to be saved on your battlefield the next scripture takes us to Isaiah 49 the verse 24 and it reads Shall the prey be taken from the mighty, or the lawful captive delivered? And the 25 says, But thus says the Lord, this is not me, this is God speaking. He said, Yes, the captives of the mighty shall be taken away, and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. For I will contend with him that contended with thee, and I will save thy children. So in this place, God has God has a promise with you. He is a God that is a covenant-keeping God. When he says something, he will surely do it for you. But again, I want you to take part in in this you know just praying the word just meant just saying the word it is not going to bring you the total deliverance or the total victory you have to pay you have to play a part of that scripture and in these God is saying that whoever that comes against you, he the Lord, he is going to contend. He is not going, even going to contend for you alone. Even your children, we want, he will save them. So this scripture, the psalmist understand this you know, prophetic word. So when you go to the next scripture, which is this, is, uh, which is Psalms 35, the script that the psalmist said what? Contend with, with thee, those that contend with me. By God. He understands because God promised him that he will battle for him. God promised you that he will battle for you. And not only you, but also your children. So in this case, he knows this word. So now he is playing his part by going to God and pleading for God. He says, well, contend with those that contend with me. Fight against those fight against me. For no cause they are running against me. For no reason they are what they are fighting against me. They have dug what a hole for me to fall into it. They are casting nets to catch me for no reason. For this reason, I want them to taste whatever they are what they are planning against me. I want them to have a taste of it. If it's evil they are planning against me, let them have evil. Let them taste this evil. If it is, is, is my downfall, let them taste this downfall. It says, and an angel will persecute them. It will make their way slippery and dark. And the angel of God will persecute them. And the angel the angel of God will make them fall into their own pit and they will be caught up with their own net. This is your prayer. 
When you wake up at that minute, Lord, these are the what? People who stood against me for no reason. Lord, whatever they are planning against me, let them test it. Let the Lord release angels, release Michael, who is a warrior, to go on the battlefield for me. Chase them and let them fall into the very thing they have done for me, the very thing they have planned for me. Let them taste it and see if what if it sweets. If what he has, that they are planning for me is what sweets. Hallelujah. I don't want you to take these scriptures for what? For granted. I want you to know that the, this life that we are living in is a battlefield. You need to be violent. For the violent take it by force. You saying, oh, God knows my God knows my problem. And this problem that is only God. It is only God. But have you done something about it? The scripture is there for us to act. When you get the scripture, you know, take it. Go and what? Do what you need to do. When you read in Psalms 3, David talks about how his enemies are increasing. And he even came to conclusion that there is no help for him in the Lord. But David said, you are my shield, my glory, oh, and the lifter up of my head, my God. I feel the presence of God. Hmm. David said, that is your prayer. It doesn't matter how mighty they are. It doesn't matter how many they are. Don't you read in the book of Second Chronicles the 20 when the, 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 the nations, five nations came against Jehoshaphat and the Israelite. God fought for them. And that is exactly because God is your glory. God is your shield. God is the lifter up of your head. He said, well, arise with your buckler and your spears and go into the war for me. Ah, my God, today you are not going to sleep. You are going to pray and God will come true for you. I said, if you can do this at midnight, do it. If you are on this platform and you have been on this platform, you know how I preach about midnight with fasting. There is no way you will go midnight and fasting with God's righteousness, with sincerity with God, and you will lose the battle. No way. There is no man. Paul said, I have, I have been young and now I am old and I have never seen the righteous forsaken. There is no way God will forsake you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This takes us to our next scripture. I tell you, these are the scriptures that I use any time that I am in what I am on the battlefield. These are just some of them, and I want to what I want to share this with you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you to know. I want you to know something. That these scriptures I'm giving you, if you read the 35, the Psalms 35, you know this. You can read Psalm 91. You know the battle. You know that God, when you speak, you can just take some 35 a night. The following night, you take some 39, uh, 91. You take, you know, you, you, you make sure that you do this continuously, you know, and when you apply the word of God, there is no way you will lose this battle. I want you to share another scripture with you, which is in Deuteronomy 28, with the verse 7. And the Lord will grant that the enemies who rise up against you will be defeated before you. They will come at from one direction, but they will flee from you in seven directions. He says what? And I will grant you, I will grant you, victory over your enemies that the enemies who rise up against you will be defeated before you this will not happen by you sleeping this will not happen by you keeping quiet this will happen when you arise and when you decree and you take your position when you march on that battlefield with god with you with your faith with your shield of faith with your with your prayers with your righteousness with your with, with, with the spirit of speaking the peace of the gospel of God. Hallelujah. I know this is not going to be easy for you, but you need to sacrifice. As I said, battles are won on the knees. Battles are not won going out fighting with your enemies. 
We used to do that. Me, I used to be like that. When you do me wrong, I am coming face to face with you and I will do, I will do that battle from you, for you, in front of you. But growing in Christ and having God with me, I have come to understand that I don't need this. I don't need this physical, you know, physical uh, battle. I need to go on my knees. Before I, I bring this video to the end, let me just share some experience with you. As I said before, I used to do my personal battle. But I have come to understand that any time that I battle with people, I am always right. But at the end of the day, because I am doing this with my strength and my knowledge, it will come up against me at the end. And then one day, God told me, or oh, I heard this voice, stop fighting your battles. Allow me to fight your battles. And when you do that, you will look stupid in front of your enemies. You, you, they will think that they are overpowering you, but they don't know that in your secret, you have locked up your door and you are calling on God. And you want God to intervene and to, to avenge for you. Because when you know how to fight your battle by yourself, God will not fight. He will stand and watch you lose that battle. But when I start to engage God, when I start to engage God, I have seen that now victories are mine. I have seen that at the end of the day, these people, as he says that he would, he will make them what? Defeat them before you. They get defeated. Some will come kneeling down and begging. Some will come asking for forgiveness. Some will come confessing. That is what I want you to know. Anybody that is fighting you, do not confront them. Go to God and let God do the battle. Take his word. I always say that the solutions we are looking for is in the word. Any solution you are looking for is in the word. Your, your portion is what look for that, that word and act on it. Don't just pray it because there is always a part you need to play. Even the prayer you are doing, that is your part you are doing. Even after this prayer, God can show you some, some other things that you need to do in order to see total victory. Go do it so that at the end, we all can celebrate Christ. I love you, but God loves you the most. I want you to go and come with victory. I want you to keep winning. I want you to keep overcoming. I want you to always be on the top. So if any time that you find yourself in that place, that you cannot, you can see that this one, it's only the hand of God. Go to these scriptures. Pray this, uh, these scriptures. And I also want you to know that you don't wait when there is a battle before you start fighting. Before you start looking for these scriptures, be ready. Know these scriptures at hand. When you are praying, use them once here or there. Find a time, create a life of prayer life. Even if it's a 30 minute every day, 15 minutes every day, make it a point. Just like you have a schedule for your life, have a schedule for your spiritual life as well. This brings us to the end of this video. I love you. Shalom. Peace.